start to deepen our breath. So it looks like we've all chosen um, child's pose today, which is nice and grounding and typically something that we need a lot of times. So we'll start our practice today with a couple of cleansing breaths, taking a nice deep breath in through your nose, big heavy sigh through the mouth. And then we'll do that again. Nice deep breath in through the nose. Big heavy sigh through the mouth. And then just start to soften the shoulders down away from the ears. Walk the hands up towards the top edge of your mat as far as you feel comfortable today. Let the shoulders drop down, start to feel some length into the sides of the trunk. And then we're gonna take it to a belly breath, but we're gonna have a ratio of one to two with our breath today. So your inhale will be half as long as your exhale. And you can do whatever feels good for you. So if it feels better for you to take a two count breath in and out, you can do that. Two counts in, four counts out. If you want to inhale for a three count and exhale for a six count, you can do that. Just really welcoming whatever breath ratio feels good for you, but trying your best to make that out breath just a little bit longer. I want you to start to notice the ground beneath your body as you breathe into the belly. And with each long exhale, I want you to think about settling further into your mat and allowing the ground to support you. So oftentimes in periods of stress or anxiety, sometimes it's hard to feel that sense of grounding. So let us use our yoga practice today to ground us, to bring a constant into our life, something that's reliable, something that we're in control of, just that concept of breathing and moving your body. So as you continue with that one to two ratio of breathing, inhale to exhale, Set an intention for your practice today, something you'd like to focus on. Maybe it's the concept of mindfulness, so staying present with each breath. Maybe it's being a little bit more grounded after you finish the practice today. Maybe it's something more physical, moving, lengthening, or strengthening a particular body area. Whatever that is, bringing it into your heart center. We'll take one more nice cleansing breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. And then when you feel ready, begin to make your way up into tabletop. So bringing the shoulders underneath the hands and the knees under the hips. Spread your fingers nice and wide today. Take the tops of the feet flat, and just notice that engagement just subtly into the belly. We're going to start to start with some shifts from fingertips back towards the heels. So just shifting your weight front to back, taking a little bit of weight on the hands, lengthening the forearms. Shifting back towards the feet, lengthening the back, the sides of the trunk. So you can move fast or slow whatever feels good for your body. And then we'll start to cycle through cat and cow. So on an inhale, you'll drop the belly, look forward, come to cow pose. As you exhale, press away, come into cat. 
Inhale, drop the belly, cow pose. Exhale, tuck and round, cat. Good, and just start to flow with your breath. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat, maybe shift your hips side to side. Three more cycles at your own pace. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Hip shifts if you'd like. And then the next time you inhale, maybe take your hands a little bit more forward. Come into cow, or if it's available to you, let the front of your hips drop down and come into cobra pose. So cobra pose is gonna be a little bit more of a back bend. If it's not available to you, you're just gonna come into cow pose. So front of the hips drop down, kind of press into your hands so you're not collapsing into your body. And then pull your belly in, press back into cat, and then drop back to puppy or child pose. Pause and breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathing in the next time, come up to cow pose. Tailbone up or front of the hips drop down, cobra pose. Looking forward. Remember you're doing what works for your body. Good, pull the belly in, press into cat. Drop all the way back. Extended child's pose or puppy pose hips lifted. Pause and breathe. Good, we're gonna do that one more time. So on your next inhale, cow pose or cobra. Exhale, tuck and round, cat or puppy pose. Good. Inhale, come up to tabletop, so hands and knees. Pausing and breathing. Holding tabletop. Go ahead and bring your left leg back. So sending your left foot back. Start to notice the activation in the back of the hip and the belly. And then if it's available, float your right arm for cross body balance. So left toes back, right arm extends. Belly is in, beautiful. Notice the activation around your midsection. Pausing and breathing. So with this, you want the top of your head to be forward. So you don't want to be looking up or down. Top of the head forward. And then come back to tabletop. Neutral spine. When you're ready, send the right toes back. So knee is straight. Toes are on the floor. Send the left, send the 